Welcome to the ShareWalls online tutorial videos. In this video, we will show you how to change the site information, which is a fundamental step before generating loads, as it will modify the wind and seismic loads applied to the model. It's easy to generate wind and seismic loads in ShearWalls without even looking up the climatic and seismic data in the building code. Simply select the city from a pull-down menu in ShearWalls and the software will do the rest. Here's how. Within the settings menu, default values tab, there is an input for the site information. This is where you select any city which is listed in the National Building Code of Canada, Appendix C-1 and C-2. For this example, I will change the city from Vancouver, British Columbia, which will be the default when you first use the software, to Toronto, Ontario. After changing the province to Ontario, the Ontario cities will appear in the next line. Notice the cities are listed in an alphabetical order. Also notice that instead of scrolling the list, you can type T repeatedly until you get to Toronto. In this case, we will select Toronto City Hall as the location closest to our site. Once this is done, all wind velocity pressure and seismic information in the project file will automatically change from Vancouver to Toronto. In fact, the Toronto climatic and seismic data will be the new default whenever you open shear walls. Now, like we just demonstrated, if we go to the load generation site information window, we notice that the wind speed and seismic ground motion accelerations have changed to match those of Toronto. These are the new coefficients that will be accounted for when generating the wind and seismic loads to our model. By the way, it is always possible to manually modify these parameters here too.